All right, what's up, everybody? This is uh, Aztec 101 in the ring, and I'm coming to you with a prediction video. This is for Danny Garcia and Robert Guerrero. I think that um, it's a good fight. It's interesting. Um, Garcia is a good fighter, but I think this is a bad fight for him. I got Robert Guerrero winning. I know that. I know that Garcia is a favorite. There's a lot of people. Uh, predicting that Garcia will win this, but I see it a bit different, and I think it's a bad fight for him. I'll explain why. Garcia has great names on his resume. I mean, obviously he has, um, you know, Zab Judah, um, Eric Morales, Lucas Matisse on paper was, was his supposed to be his toughest fight, and he did really well against him. He hurt him real bad, swelled up the side of his face. Uh, that was a good fight. Then he fought Mauricio Herrera, which which he lost, in my opinion, uh, and in, in the opinion of a lot of people. Um, his fight after that was Rod Salka. Then I think he fought um, Polymon Naji, then Lamont Peterson. Um, Peterson was was also a fight where he struggled. Now, regardless on whether how you score it, you know, even if you say Danny Garcia won enough rounds to win the fight, I wouldn't have wanted to be Danny Garcia in that fight. I would have rather been Lamont Peterson. I think Lamont Peterson, um, he didn't win the boxing match, but he won the fight. I mean, he lit up Danny Garcia. Uh, that was a bad fight for Garcia. Now, Robert Guerrero was not going to do anything like Lamont Peterson did because he's he's not going to fight fight him on the outside. He's not going to try to dance around the ring um, and frustrate uh, Garcia. I think he's going to take more of the Mauricio Herrera approach. And if you look at their styles, they seem fairly similar, except Guerrero's bigger. Um, Herrera doesn't hit hard. He, he's not, well, he hits hard, but he's not a knockout artist. Um, but he smothered Garcia. You know, he, he was he was really aggressive. He stayed in there. He fought on the inside. And I think Guerrero can do that. And I think he can do better. I don't think um, Danny Garcia can, can out-muscle him. He was able to stand in there with Keith Thurman. Guerrero lost the fight, but he lasted all 12 rounds. Um, Aaron Martinez, you know, knocked him down. But Aaron Martinez ends up beating um, Devin Alexander. So Martinez is no chump either. All in all, I think uh, Danny Garcia, is, he, he's an excellent fighter in this fight. If he wants to win, he's going to have to weather the storm because Robert Guerrero is going to go in there and he's going he's gonna to bull rush him. This could look a lot like... Uh, Guerrero versus Andre Berto. It could. Because Andre Berto's fast and he's got power. He did he, he he was known for his power. So, you know, Danny Garcia, he's got a reputation, but Robert Guerrero, he's been in there with some guys. So Kamagai, I think Kamagai's a perfect example of how this fight could also turn out if it ends up being a fight or a struggle on the inside, if it turns out to be a, a uh, firefight, because Kamagai also is a knockout artist himself, um, and and Robert Guerrero did really well in that fight too. Depending on how on on how this goes, this could be fight of the year. We don't know. It just depends how they mix in there. Sometimes you expect something, and and it could be something completely different. Danny Garcia could land a big punch. Robert Guerrero could change his mind about being aggressive and then just lays off him and tries to survive the whole fight. So we don't know how this could turn out. Uh, but I, I hope that uh, it's exciting regardless who wins. I got Robert Guerrero winning. Um, I like to hear everyone's point of view. So if you leave a comment, tell me who wins, why. Um, this is Aztec 101 in the ring and I'm out.